What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Before I get into this video, I wanna be really clear. You do not need a gravel specific shoe when you get your first gravel bike. A mountain bike shoe will work just fine. These are my gravel shoes and these are technically a mountain bike shoe. But as popular as gravel cycling has become, companies are now coming out with gravel specific shoes and they're actually pretty sweet. So let's check out six of those shoes right now. The first shoe on the list is the Physic Power Strap X4 coming in at $150. Essentially, this is the same shoe I have with a different enclosure system and they are much lighter because they have less tread on the soles. This is a gravel cycling shoe with a Power Strap Velcro closure system. While most traditional Velcro closures just pull together the two sides of the shoe's upper, with the Velcro strap configuration, a ribbon wraps around the foot providing secure containment using just two straps. The instep and the midfoot are separately adjustable for customized fit and compression. The outsole is stiff and comfortable, blending nylon with targeted stiffness and a rubber tread for effective grip and durability. This shoe comes in four different color schemes and a pair of them in a size 40 weigh in at 632 grams. So of all the shoes on the list, I've only tried on a few and that shoe basically feels exactly like this shoe and that's why I bought this shoe because I love the way it feels, uh, but it is much lighter because it doesn't have all of this chunky tread on the bottom, which really isn't needed when you're riding gravel. They're freaking awesome shoes, especially for the value. The next shoe on the list is the Shimano RX-8 coming in at $250. The RX-8 combines the best features of Shimano's high-end road and mountain footwear into one pair of shoes that's specifically designed for gravel racing. A stiff carbon sole ensures all your pedaling power is transferred into forward motion while the lightweight uppers wrap your feet in supportive comfort. Abrasion resistant lugs on the outsole provide traction for the tricky hike a bike sections commonly found in gravel events. The shoe comes in three different color options and a size 43 have a weight of 570 grams per pair. The next shoe on the list comes from City, and that's the City Jarin coming in at $550. City, the longtime maker of high-end road shoes, has come out with a dedicated gravel shoe. The shoes come with an SRS carbon sole that is efficient and lightweight, as well as replaceable tread blocks and cleat mounts for longevity. The shoe is made with Tech Pro uppers that are lightweight, breathable, and durable. The soft instep strap ensures a secure and comfortable fit and Techno 3 dials allow micro adjustments on the fly. The shoe also uses a reinforced heel cup, which bolsters stability and power transfer. There is also a toe protector to fend off errant rocks and debris. The shoe is offered in two colors and weighs in at 760 gram per pair in a size 45. The next shoe is the Mavic All Road Pro coming in at 250 bucks. Mavic designed this shoe with durability and comfort in mind. Mavic constructs the upper from an innovative lightweight material called Matrix, which provides all day comfort and incredible ruggedness. While the shoe is durable and lightweight, it's also highly breathable and quick drying. The shoe uses a lace closure system that provides a customized fit and is easy to repair. The Ortholite footbed is comfortable on or off the bike and the Energy Comp All Road outsole offers efficiency and tune flexed while the rubber outsole provides anti-slip protection for off the bike functionality. This shoe comes in one color option and has a weight of 560 grams per pair for a size 42. The next shoe on the list comes from Bontrager and that's the Bontrager GR2 coming in at $140. Now, in my opinion, this is 100% the worst looking shoe on this list. I think it looks horrible, but it's a decently priced dedicated gravel shoe, so I threw it on here. The shoe uses a durable rubber outsole that gives you grip on different types of terrain. For a closure system, this shoe also uses a lace-up system and has a durable synthetic leather upper that comfortably cradles your foot. Bontrager claims this shoe offers a slightly roomier yet high-performance fit so your feet can be comfortable for those long days on and off the bike. There is also a cuff saver on the front and back of the shoe for added durability. The shoe is offered as two color options and a pair in a size 42 has a weight of 836 grams per pair. And last but not least on the list is the Lake 
MX241 coming in at $370. This shoe is built on Lake's MX Competition Last, which has an impressive hold on the heel to prevent any slippage while trying to keep a smooth pedal stroke. The shoe is constructed using abrasion resistant elements for added durability. For a securing system, the shoe uses dual BOA dials that provide secure micro adjustable fit. A full grain leather upper is supple and molds to the foot. For the sole, Lake uses stiff carbon fiber to maximize power transfer and rubber lugs add grippy traction while off the bike. The shoe is offered in two color options and a pair in the size 44 weigh in at 810 grams. All right, guys, there you have it. Six dedicated gravel shoes. Now, like I said earlier, you do not need one of these shoes when you get your first gravel bike. A mountain bike shoe will work fine. Now, I will say this, um, you know, if you're getting your first road bike, when I got my first road bike, I actually got mountain bike shoes because they're easier to walk in. And then I eventually got some road shoes. If you want a shoe that you can still walk in, but it's not as clunky as a big old mountain bike shoe and you're getting your first road bike, I think that any of the shoes on this list would be a great option. And obviously if you're riding gravel, they would be a great option. Uh, but I'll, I'll say this, if you're, if you're getting your first gravel bike and you need a shoe, any of the shoes on this list would be great. A mountain bike shoe would work. Like I said, I use uh, this mountain bike shoe, but I would avoid getting a road shoe for gravel uh, just because if you've ever got to hike a bike in a road shoe on a gravel road, road shoe, the cleats, uh, mud kind of gets caught, uh, caught around them and they're harder to clip in. Um, with gravel shoes or mountain bike shoes, you can still walk in them and they've got the usually the mountain bike cleats and so they're easier to clip in if your foot gets muddy. So just something to think about. But guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like all things cycling, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. You guys have a good one. You good boy. Guys, I just got uh, in from shooting that video and I forgot to add, when you are shopping for a pair of shoes, try them on if you can. Uh, before I got my new Physic shoes, I went around to like seven different bike shops and tried on different shoes and then I found the Physics and they didn't have the color I liked so I ordered mine online but I tried them on to make sure I found a pair that fit me right and then I ordered them. So shoes are a personal thing and if you can try them on before, try them on. Say bye bye. Say subscribe. He's a good boy.